Revolution in Bloomington and we are going to take some time I am going to take some time today to talk with Mark Segoviano uh, of Sego Inspections uh, and we're just talking home inspections so Mark what is your role with Sego Inspections? Uh, the lead inspector with Sego Inspections and uh, been doing it for for many many years I think we started our business back in 1990 and have seen many, many homes, and we thoroughly enjoy what we do in helping people with the most important uh, purchase of their life. So it's nice to be able to do this every day. We enjoy it. Yeah. It's, um, how, how long does the process take on average? If somebody goes to get a home inspection, how long are you spending at a house? What types of things are you looking at while you're there? Kind of run us through a typical, a typical kind day. of a home inspection. Sure, sure. No, the typical inspection is going to be approximately around that four hour time frame. That gives you an opportunity to, uh, the inspector an opportunity to go top to bottom with the home uh, as far as that goes. So, and with a complete report at the end, of course, the email report to everybody. But the inspection process itself, basically when you arrive on site, I'll kind of walk you through the process if that's okay. Sure, Can yeah, perfect. That? Okay, so, and pulling up to the site, we're taking a look at not only the home, but the, the environment that's around the home because there's a lot of things that can impact the home as far as grade and, and things of that nature. So you're evaluating the minute you get there with, out of your vehicle, you're looking at things, the grades, the sidewalks, the driveways, uh, the roof, the chimneys, uh, evaluating everything that might have an impact on the home. Then of course, the physical overview of the inspection is top to bottom, starting with the chimney and the, the roof structure and the soffit and the eaves and the siding and the windows, things of that nature and uh, the sure. foundation and the gutters. It's a big one. Yeah, the foundations are a big one and yeah. as are the gutters and how they flow away from the home. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of times uh, if there's water issues in a home, 90, 90 plus percent of the time, it's going to be grade and gutters. Uh, for anybody that is looking for a home purchase down the road, make sure you're grazing, your gutters are cleaned and you have sufficient gutters on the home that it's flowing water away from the home's foundation so you don't have any uh, moisture issues within your basement area. So looking at that and evaluate that when we get there then of course it's a physical review of the outside of the home and a physical review of the inside of the home starting from the top on down in the attic area making your way down to the interior of second floor if there is one or the main floor and the foundation making sure that the overall superstructure is in good shape and then of course once that's all done uh, you put the home through its paces as far as a mechanical perspective when uh, we're talking about the plumbing the heating the electrical the water flow the windows and doors, how they operate. So it's pretty much a top to bottom uh, inspection. Yeah. So for those that have never seen a home inspection report, they are, like Mark said, very thorough. So they go through all your, they'll give you the age of the HVAC, your water heater, and, and those types of things. So sometimes, in my experience as an agent, I've noticed some of the things you're giving in the report it's good information to know about the house. They're not necessarily things that are, or are issues, but maybe things to look, look for or address down the road, or or to just kind of know what's coming and what's been maintained and what hasn't. And exactly, you want, you want to know your house from top to bottom. I mean, yeah. you move in aside from the visual and the look, the look pretty type rooms, and it's been painted and recarpeted. You want to know about your structure and you want to know about your mechanicals, and that's. The inspection process gives you a much more in-depth look into your home as to is it properly wired, is the plumbing working properly, is HVAC functioning properly, all within the parameters as they should, because there's testing that's done during the inspection itself as well. And uh, with Segway Inspections, we also do a thermal, thermal image review of the home to make sure we don't have any types of leaks within the plumbing system that you can't see from a visual perspective, yet the thermal camera gives me an opportunity to see if I have leaks in the walls or the ceilings. Uh, as far as that it goes. It detects so the moisture level. Yes, and so it's much, it's a much more in-depth look as, uh, into the home rather than just a visual review. Yeah, so of course that that's one of those things that helps with the things you can't see with the naked eye or test with yes. um, certain equipment. So that's one limitation of a home inspection, right? Nobody has x-ray vision so you can't see inside yes. of a wall or what, what types of things um, are things that and it's it's not uh not i'm trying to think of the right way to say it but things uh with a home inspection that 
maybe could be missed, not from lack of knowledge or not from being thoroughly inspected, but things that, I mean, no, nobody could see, right? There's no test for, there's no, that maybe would be missed. Like once in a while, we'll have something come up and it's not, obviously it's not the inspect, well, in your case, it's never the inspector. Murph does a great job, but, um, you know, like we've had things where, you know, maybe there was, well, your moisture meter would read that, but like mold in the wall, which somebody mm -hmm. without a moisture meter, you, you can't, they can't see that. They yeah. don't know that. Or there are the, there are the hidden venues in a home yeah. as you go through. And, and again, a lot of the, um, a lot, there again, the inspection is of readily visible and accessible areas, mm -hmm. uh, which in, in our case, we do access attic areas. We do access crawl space areas. Um, so those are those are not areas that we don't get into. We, sure. we get a good look at all of that, but yet, like you, get you said, get into as many areas as you can. Yeah, as yeah, that are readily accessible yep. um, and safely accessible as far as that goes. Because obviously there are some crawl spaces that are pretty tight you can't get into, and there might be attic access areas that are not safe to get into without damaging something. So there again, we take that into account as yep. well. But we try to access all areas of the home during our inspection because we want to we want to for we want to prevent. Uh, not reporting something that is there. Yes. Now, in between the walls, obviously, that's a whole different ball game. But that's why the infrared thermal image is important for us with our inspections. We're able to detect quite a few uh, things that issues. For example, yesterday I had a home that was a beautiful home, absolutely beautiful, uh, second floor area. Up in, when you come to the top of the stairs, there was uh, moisture that showed up in cold air. And so, getting to the attic area, snow had blown in through an area of a soffit and an eave that you wouldn't have seen uh, if you hadn't had that type of equipment. So it gave me an opportunity to go much more in depth and find something that was happening up in there. Sure, and sometimes you may find things that um, you recommend having somebody out, like you know it's not quite right, mm -hmm. and you might recommend having further evaluated by like a... Yeah, so the evaluation process that the home inspectors do, uh, we always recommend further view by a licensed contractor or individual in because, that field in that field because that protects the, that protects the the homeowner uh, sure. on both sides it protects the homeowner the current homeowner and the buyer uh, in referring to a contracted individual who's very knowledgeable and licensed in that field whether it be sure. electrical or plumbing or HVAC we always refer it on to that individual because we're not there to assess what the, the issue is I and mean, we just find the situation and yeah. they go and assess the, the issue as what's taking place. Yeah, they kind of, you know there's an issue and they figure out what you need to do to fix the issue. Yes. And so by skipping a home inspection, you kind of lose out on, well, if you're there four hours, when we go in and show a house, we're not there four hours. Yes. So there's no way that while you're in that house viewing it, I mean, sometimes people walk in and they're like, oh, this is great. And they look around and they see the things they, want to see or can see but exactly the where... visual review we're there and we're there to put the home through its paces top to bottom from the plumbing hvac electrical and test all of those things. sure so how much does something like this cost on average or well it, it, how, it, it, how is it charged is it based on how long it the takes average or... average size home would be around 355 okay that's an average size home and there again, if we're going into a home, we've got multiple zones as far as multiple HVAC systems or a larger home that takes more time, then we'll, we will uh, we'll work at that depending there. upon the time and sure. it takes to do a complete full inspection. Okay. So, so now how does it work if somebody's say buying a, like a condo inside of a, you know, a multi-unit building mm -hmm. or something like that? I mean, is that is the process pretty much the same? How what do they need to do ahead of time to assure you have access to what you need to see? It's, it's the same process because uh, with a condo building, even though it's individualized units, you still have a roof over that building that could impact that unit. We still have basement and our foundations that if something were to occur there, that's still going to impact that unit. So the way we handle the condos and things of that nature, I handle it just like a regular home inspection, still taking into account the roof, the attic, the foundation, the outside, even though they just have one portion of it, you never know what's taking place above or below or around or on the sides that might have an impact on that unit. So we want to make not only the buyer aware of it, but maybe we make a homeowners association group aware of something that's taking place around the building or in the areas that they're not accessing. That might affect 
that might affect One or the home ownership. Full unit. Yes. So, so it's still a full, still a full inspection. And what is your favorite part of your job? What what makes you love to go to work every day? I do love going to work every day. You know, <laughs> a lot of people aren't able to to do what they enjoy, and okay. I enjoy doing this every day. Um, the home buying process can be a nervous process for somebody, but that's the part I enjoy is being able to calm their fears of what they've got. Even if it's a home that might have some issues, everything is reparable. You're just yeah. a checkbook away from fixing everything. <laughs> <laughs> a checkbook away. That's a good way to look at it. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. Um, we are so happy that you came on and shared. If anybody has any questions about the home inspection process, feel free to reach out uh, to us and we can get you in touch with Mark or you can probably email them or yeah. he's busy a lot of times in houses doing inspections. So I'm guessing mm -hmm. email is probably the best way if you've got a, a specific home inspection question. Yes, but... you can email us at cindy at segoinspections.com. Okay, and we will put that in the comments for you as well. Yeah, and then Cindy, Cindy's office number as well is 309-533-2463. My number is 309-275-7346. Uh, you uh, probably are more advantageous to utilize Cindy's email address <laughs> and her cell. Uh, but we look forward to helping you and working with you in any way, even if you have just questions, if you're not utilizing our, utilizing our service, but you have questions about the process, we are more than happy to share time with you because it is the most important purchase of your life and we want you to be happy we want you to be careful and safe within your new home yeah it's a large investment for it's it's usually the biggest investment people yes. make so yes protect it with a home inspection yeah all right thanks Mark. thank you